Hello and welcome to another edition of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Theodor. I'm Andras. And today we are going to talk briefly about the series uh, of binoculars made by Vortex called Vanquish. So Andras, if you can tell me a little bit what are the basic features of this series and which models are included in the Vanquish yeah, series so of binoculars. These binoculars have been, uh, they must have been on the market for around six to seven years, around 2012, 2012 2013, 2013, maybe 14 in that time period they were introduced yeah yeah so there are basically two models in mm -hmm. the, the Vanquish series we have here the 8 by 26 there is also 10 by 26 available mm -hmm. and if you look at them you can see that they um, there this is quite a I would say a different design <laughs> yeah. a little bit unspecific for the binoculars category because these are referred to as reverse poroprism binoculars so it's poroprism binoculars but instead of uh the objective lenses being further apart than the eyepiece lenses, here it's the opposite. The, the opposite. The so, other the, around, yeah. so the objective lenses are closer together and uh, uh, the eyepiece uh, lenses are further apart. So they're really, really compact due to this reason. That's right. Well, um, the surface is rubberized for a non-slip grip. We have two positions of the of the eye cups. Mm -hmm. uh, eye cups are really basic. The diopter is on the right uh, ocular. Um, the field of view is, I would say, oh, not that great, but still decent. You have on the eight times magnification, you have around 170 meters, 1,000 meters. Mm. On the smaller model, you have around 98 meters. On you know what meters. I checked now? Do you see when, when we do the focusing, nothing moves? So that means that they have internal focusing mechanism. And that means that even though they are poor prism design binoculars, they are nitrogen just, uh, gas purged and fully waterproof and fully fog proof. This is something what is really rare in this price class. Yes, because mm. uh, in the price, these are at a 120 euro price point in the same price point as a Raptor. And we know mm -hmm. that Raptor is not waterproof, whereas... Yeah, whereas because with the Raptor, uh, the whole eyepiece mechanism moves up and down when you are focusing. So it's like, uh, it's a normal functioning this way. Uh, with this uh, binoculars, everything is internal. So this is the reason why they are uh, made waterproof and purged with nitrogen gas, uh, gas so that it's completely uh, dry and it doesn't, there is no um, moisture accumulation inside of the binoculars. I have to say that the optical, that optically they are quite nice for 120 euros. 100, they are made so. in the Philippines, so mm -hmm. in China and Philippines. Uh, the eyepieces, uh, I have to point out, are quite, um, I would say, narrow, so mm -hmm. it's not as comfortable uh, for a grown-up, but yeah. for for children, for kids, it's and I would say that normal. these are a great gift for yeah. for a child, for a beginner binocular user. I think that Raptor and Vanquish binoculars are meant for otherwise uh, for people who use Vortex products when they're buying gifts for their children or for their wives and, and so on. Because they are, these are really entry level, non expensive. Maybe we uh, would also um, recommend them to a beginner high, for a hiker who wants yeah, okay. to, I don't know, look at the scenery around them. That's also true because they're really light and compact. What is also really interesting with Poro design uh, binoculars, they feature uh, the eye cups, which can be twisted up. Yeah. Uh, I have two positions for the eyeglass wearers. The zero so position. You, you usually have problems with poro binoculars that have, I would say, winged yeah. rubber eye cups, which you have to, um, I would say, pull the rubber down, and then it usually pops up back it's, again. It's, it's a nightmare it's a for, for glasses. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. for me, it's really, really hard when I see some old Swarovski scope uh, binocular with this rubber eye cups. It's it's a nightmare if you use glasses if you have uh, astigmatism like myself. But with this, I can I can even see the full field of view on this. Yeah, it's no problem yeah, to use them with glasses. So that means that the eye relief is uh, it's quite uh, good enough. It's better than on, on Raptors. So for eyeglass wearers, this is probably a better choice. And they really are compact. They're really compact. You, if you have a bigger pocket, you could probably mm -hmm. fit them in there as well. Yeah. And But if not, you have a transport, uh, really standard transport case where you can put the binoculars in. Uh, you also get the really basic covers strap and the basic strap and the, the manual. product manual and this is the box where it comes in. So basically it's a, it, they are binoculars for 100 euros or a little bit more than that. Uh, 
Vortex, believe, Vortex warranty, VIP is still included, like with every product of theirs. I think that the VIP warranty is the really the main factor when you look at this. It's and probably even really worth. Light. I don't know if you um, if you give a little bit more money because Vortex still makes quality uh, items. Mm. You can still get 50, 60 euros by maculars, but it's probably worth paying 100. <laughs> Yes, you Thank and you. get uh, Vortex quality with the warranty as well. Yeah, I also think so. It's it's better to buy for in this price range between 100 and 150 euros. It's really uh, an important factor that you buy something with with a renowned name and warranty, which cannot be beaten by anyone. So uh, this is definitely a strong point. What are some other strong points now that we're the other strong points? Waterproofness, definitely. In this price range, that this is waterproof. Uh, then the adjustable eyepieces, it's also a really strong point. The com compactness and lightness, these are all strong points. What are the weak points? The field of view. The field of view, it's so-so, it's a bit narrow. And the eyepieces are a bit narrow for a grown-up. Yeah, it's more like for kids and for, for children. Uh, if you have a wider interpupillary distance, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, the maximum uh, is 71 millimeters, so yeah, that could be a problem there. Yeah. That could be a problem. Uh, also, the handling, the central bridge is uh, in the full length, so the handling, but okay, the binoculars are really light, it's not so problematic. All in all, in this price point, as a gift for a kid, it's a good choice. We also have a separate video, I think, on both models. Feel free to check these reviews out if you are looking for more in-depth information. Thank you for watching this video. See you in those videos. See you Bye. in those videos. Bye.